It is a scene that's difficult to watch. Classmates of two high school girls killed in a crash, paying their respects. We now know the identities of the two South Elgin High School students. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live at the scene of that crash. And Sabrina, we understand people have been coming there all day. They have, and police now believe they understand what caused this crash. They say the four girls in that car failed to yield while making a left turn when they collided with that dump truck, with that semi truck. The students at this high school have lost two of their own, and all day we've seen neighbors come by to this scene to pay their respects. This community loves them. They're there for them. This is this is not going to be forgotten for years. You know, so they'll be. They're going to be taken care of. They're, the children will never be forgotten. Debbie Forsellas is just one of the many putting down flowers at this fresh memorial, remembering Kamora Campbell, a 17 year old student at South Elgin High School from Bartlett, and to Lule Henry, a 16 year old student at the same school from Elgin. Both died in a horrific crash at this intersection minutes before the first school bell Thursday. They were in a Honda Civic when they collided with a dump truck. The driver and another passenger, both also girls who attend South Elgin, were taken to the hospital, survived the crash. One of those girls had to be airlifted to a second hospital for treatment. Meanwhile, a family member told CBS2 that two of the girls in that car are related. We do not know which ones or their conditions. The driver of the dump truck survived. We do know that one of the remaining passengers in that car, some good news, has been elevated to stable condition. That's new information coming from the school district. We're also told that some of the students at this school will be attending a game tonight wearing colors to support their friends. We're live in South Elgin. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.